Talitha Kumai, Talitha Kumai, arise, woman of God, arise, man of God, hallelujah. I'm here to talk to you about fasting and praying. Um, this new year, starting January 1st, and actually it can start now, but starting January 1st, you need to repent. You need to repent before the Father, ask Him to forgive you for your sins. Um, and then just talk to him a little bit and ask him to show you and reveal to you the things that you've forgotten about or the things that you have, uh, yeah, the things that you have forgotten about that he can bring up in your memory. And also ask him for the things where you've offended people. And that, or, and then ask him about the, bit, the, root, the, um, the root of bitterness or any anger or hatred that you have in you. Ask God about all these things so that he can remove them and begin to purge them as you start your fast so that he begins to purge you of all of that, um, the gook. I'm going to call it the gook for lack of a better word. But he can purge you of all that gook out of you. So as you fast and as you pray, he may show you everything in one moment. And then he may show you over the course of uh, 21 days. I'm doing a 21-day fast starting. But um, some people may uh, do a five-day fast. Some people may do a two-day fast. Somebody might be doing a one-day fast. But just remember, ask God first you repent. You ask God to forgive you for your sins. You know, then um, the ones knowingly, the ones unknowingly, to put into remembrance what you um, don't remember. Um, yeah, so that that's that's first. Just spend some time repenting. You may spend days repenting. You may spend an hour. You may spend minutes. It's it's God is is an individual God, and He deals with us differently. We all fast differently, and our walk is different. That's the best thing about God. He is an individual God. You don't have to look at me and what I'm doing, and I don't have to look at you and what you're doing. It's what God is doing in your life and what He wants you to do. That if I could teach you anything else, it's to have intimacy with the Father, not intimacy with me or with every preacher or pastor who walks on the street. It is to have intimacy with our Holy Father, with Abba, so that we are so into him and he is so inside of us that we are... Um, that there's no there's no no division there's no difference <laughs> between him and us so yeah so repentance then i want to say pray we're going to pray um those times when you should be uh those times when you're not eating instead of eating um on your lunch break at work you pray um on when you're at home and your kids are eating you pray or your husband or even if you're by yourself in times when you be eating you pray you might say you know what excuse me make dinner and then excuse yourself or uh don't make dinner if you by yourself and you just ex you just sit there and pray um and read your bible so it's important that you pray and read your bible during this during that um during that your uh fast so you repent you pray and you fast. And huh, and also ask the Father what he wants you to fast. Uh, we have things that we know we have issues with or things we want changed or whatever. You can write those down. That's fine. Write that list down. But then ask the Father what list he has and what he wants done in your life so that you're giving him permission to do because he, uh, his plan is the best plan. We have our plans and we have our ways of what we want and how we want it. But his plan and ways is the best ways. And he acknowledges us. That's why I said write your list down. But then write down the list that the Father wants to get done in you. And then you pray over those lists. We pray and we seek God as we fast. We repent, we pray, and we fast. And we keep on doing that. And for the ones that's doing it for 21 days, 21 days. That's what you do. You repent. You pray and you fast and then repeat. <laughs> repent, pray, fast, repeat. Do it all over again. Uh, my expectation is that this is a lifestyle. No, not every day are you going to be doing, uh, not every day of your life you're going to do 21 day fast, but every day of your life I expect at least once a week or twice a week or however God leads you that you are fasting. To be a Christian is a lifestyle. It's not just, oh, I'm a Christian. You got to pray, you got to fast, and you got to read your Bible. These are the things that we are commanded to do, that we, we have to do. So, um, 
At least if you want to live in power and you want to live in authority and you want to live in strength and you want to live so that when you pray for people, things happen. This is what you have to do. You have to uh, repent, pray, and fast. And you know, there's this thing going around. Well, I'm over five minutes, but so I like to keep it short but sweet. So what do we do? We repent. We pray. We fast. And then we repeat. Be blessed. Um, if you like the videos, like, subscribe, um, and just most importantly, hallelujah, be in the Father. Be in Him. Oh, hallelujah. Let Him be in you, in Jesus' name. So I pray over you. I pray over your fasting, hallelujah, that you will have power and you will be able to fast and pray and you will repent before him and you will yield to the Father in the name of Jesus. And as you do these things, strength and power will come upon you. Ah, to so raise the dead, to heal the sick, to do all the things that he commanded that we were going to be able to do in Jesus' name. So we give all glory, all honor, and all power to the Father, to the King of kings and Lord of lords. So I thank you, God. I magnify your name. You are worthy, God.